Yeah, join join Soulfleet. There's no there's no debate. Join the server. It's a great community for Roblox exploiting and overall Roblox developing, sharing script and promoting your server. Yeah, join it. If you don't join it, then I'm gonna I'm gonna six hundred members. We have six hundred members. We're not small. Join. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a uh, name ESP on Roblox. So we're just gonna get uh, right into it. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, well, let's just start off what we're going to do. Um, basically, what we're going to do is clone text labels and put them on everyone in the game's head. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> so, the first thing, uh, first things first, we have to create the text label. Now, um, for creating the text label, I like to just, uh, not this, just create a whole new studio game. Uh, so, yeah, I like to just use studio. So, let's just open up Roblox. Place. All right, so now that we got this open, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and, uh, let me just, what the heck happened here? So I'm plugging through all my stuff. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to um, go ahead and uh, make a new screen GUI. And I'm just going to click on text label. And this is your main text label we're going to use. So, uh, actually, uh, yeah, this is the main text label we're going to use. Um, so, uh, we need a billboard UI, actually. So, you know what we'll do? We're going to go and uh, go to build rig, and we're just going to build a block rig. Here. And we're just going to go to the block rig's head, and we're going to go ahead and create a new billboard UI. Put a text label in that billboard UI, and you're gonna put the billboard UI as always on top, and then we have to set the size. So one zero one zero, and that should be good. Actually, no, we gotta cut that out. Nope, that's not very good. And then we gotta. Actually, you know what? We'll just do one zero one zero. Okay. And actually, all right. Sorry, guys. We're just gonna do it by five here. And we're gonna do it by. Yeah, that's good. Go to the text label, and we're gonna do one zero one uh, one zero. And there we go. There's our label. Background transparency is gotta be. One and there's our text. We're gonna put on text scaled and we're gonna go ahead and put the text color to whatever you want. Uh, we're gonna make an Orion slider too. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make an, uh, a GY change the color. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, just have it here and we can actually put go to the GUI and go to studs offset. And I think it's on the second one. Turn it up a bit. So it's like that. And there we go. Um, now, obviously, the naming SP is a little bit too small. So we're going to actually put this on zero. Put this on zero. And then use the this. And do like. We need to do like one fifty by one fifty. Now we need to we're gonna do like one fifty by fifty. I think that's pretty good. Okay. And then we can just go put the text label name. Name, name, holder, like that. Actually, no, not the text label. Name, put the text. Name holder. And then what you guys can also do is do whatever you want. Like you can bullet if you want. I like to use something like some, something like 
like this. Right? Just look like the kind of use some sort of like this a bunch here. And then you can put like a stroke on just like like that. I think that's a pretty good name holder. And now, uh, if you do have a uh, Geoda Lua plugin, then you can uh, go ahead and just click on your Builder GUI and hit convert, and it will make an entire script for you. Um, and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to use this if you guys want to just copy this down. And you guys can go ahead. I'm going to drag some to my second monitor, and we're going to bring back up here. And, um, I'm just going to go ahead and use, uh, local, uh, build board GUI equals instance dot new billboard GUI. And then we got to do local text label. Actually, you know what? We're going to use a different plugin. I feel like we can we're just gonna use where is it? The box is in the way. Alright, here we go. This is pretty good. Let's copy this. Okay. So there it is. And then we can do it the parent equals nil. Um and yeah. Now that we have this, we can just get, actually just get rid of this parent. We don't even need it. Keep this parent though. And uh, you guys can copy this down if you guys want. And then we do. Uh, now we can do our uh, run service. So we can do. Uh, we gotta define it first. So we can do local run service equals game gets. Get service run service, and then we do run service dot render apt connect function. And we're gonna do um uh billboard local billboard GUI clone equals billboard GUI clone, and then uh since we clone this it should also clone the text label along with it so we can just do uh actually you can just do 4 i v in pairs game get service Actually, you know what we can do? Local players equals game get service players. And then we can just do over here. Uh, for IV in pairs players. Uh, oh, my bad. Players get children. Do. All right, we clone this, and we do billboard GUI clone dot parent equals v dot character. Uh, find first child head. Okay, and this is gonna loop through the players, get the children, and it's going to put it all, uh, over there. All right. Um. And we do if v dot character dot head um uh if v dot character dot head uh we'll just do if not v dot character dot head find first child 
uh, find first child. The name, actually, we'll just do. Billboard GUI clone dot name equals ESP. We'll just do it. Name ESP. You know what name ESP? Then and put an end here. So this not as you see it's saying if uh if you can't find this uh then clone it set the name and set the parent um we could you can also do like uh if whatever then return end like uh if then Turn end or something like that, but we're just gonna do that, okay? So there's our render step, and um, now that we do that, we gotta make it so um, new when new players join, so we do uh, players dot player added connect function. And then we just, um, for I, actually, no, we can just do, copy this. This thing here. And then, and then if not, player, character. So let's go ahead and test this. Now, if you may not know, if you've never script before, you might know. You might not know this, but um, usually, uh, what the heck? Look at my graphics card. Let's update this. All right, so you may not know this, but um, have you never script before? But usually, stuff doesn't work on the first time. So uh, yeah, let me go actually get synapse running. All right, so we got synapse running now. You can just don't mind how long it is. All right, um, so it works. Now, if we reset my character, okay, he puts it back on my head. So there we go. Um, there's our name ESP. So there's an issue. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's an issue though. The uh, the issue is that um. Well, A, we have to make sure that if a player joins, that it gives it. Yeah, it does. Okay, nice. Um, the issue is that uh, it says name holder. So let's make it actually. Uh, let's make it actually say the right thing. All right, so all we got to do here is um, do uh, billboard GUI clone dot. Uh, dot let's see what's the name text build you uh, and then find first child let's just do text function with that name equals name text and then we do find first child name text dot text equals v dot name okay so there's that and we actually take this and put it under here and next what we need to do is oh i forgot we don't all right you seem to be here so we just do player dot name uh the next thing we need to do is make sure that it's actually not going on us so if not player to character um uh, yeah, or player dot name is equal to game dot players, or if player is equal to game dot players dot local player, and then we copy this whole line and paste it here, but change this to V. Okay, let's uh go ahead and rejoin. All right, here we go. We are joined back. Let's go ahead 
and uh, signups did not automatically launch. Reject. All right. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and go into uh, VS Code, and uh, it actually still put it on me, but it is putting people's names down now, uh, which is good. Okay. So, is there any errors? Okay. Here we go. Attempt index nil. Okay. Uh, that's actually fine because it's not gonna. Stop the script from running. Um, I think it's continuously putting it on me. So let's go ahead and fix that if this shitty Roblox client wouldn't open. Alright. And then if not, then. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do. Um, then if, uh, if player is not equal to, uh, game dot players dot local player, then, all right guys, so I did a few tweaks. You guys can look. I actually, oh my goodness, I actually changed, uh, the, instead of, uh, head I changed the human root part and I also added um this stuff so I basically did if V is not equal to game players local player and then I also did if player is not equal to game players local player and also changed everything about the head so it goes to my human root part. Uh you guys can uh, just like read over pause the video and read over it and make sure you just copy all the changes down. Cause I didn't realize that OBS was paused. Okay, let's try and do this. Okay, it didn't go on my player now, and you'll see it goes on the humanoid root part. 